The name Aaron has been used for several tropical systems in the Atlantic, but the most memorable one was back in 2001. Hurricane Aaron forming on September 1st strengthened into a Category 3 hurricane with peak winds near 120 miles an hour. On September 11th, 2001, the storm was located about 500 miles east-southeast of New York City. A strong high-pressure system between Aaron and the Northeast kept the storm well offshore, but created crystal clear skies over New York that morning, an eerie contrast to the tragic events unfolding. Aaron generated large swells and rip currents along the East Coast, brushed Bermuda, and later brought wind and rain to Newfoundland before becoming extra tropical. Another notable Aaron was Hurricane Aaron back in 1995, which made two Florida landfalls as a Category 1 and 2 storm, causing six deaths and around $700 million in damage. Hurricane Aaron in 1989 stayed at sea but reached Category 2 strength. Later, Aaron's 2007, 2013, and 2019 were weaker tropical storms, generally short-lived with minimal impact, though the 2007 storm caused flooding in Oklahoma after moving inland. The reuse of the name reflects that none of these storms were catastrophic enough to warrant retirement. But the 2001 hurricane remains historically unique for its timing and silent presence during one of America's darkest days. For 13 News Now, I'm meteorologist Hunter Forst.